Since 1977, Star Wars has captured the hearts and minds of generations with the films, books, costumes and merchandising rights valued at more than $5 billion. And this December, the Empire is set to expand with the release of Episode 8, The Last Jedi. Okay, we all love the movies, but one man whose love for the movies has gone into dead set absolute hyperdrive is Mick Fett, also known as Ozzy Vader. The collector has amassed more than 100,000 items over the past 20 years. Mick Fett and his partner Vanessa join us live now. How are you going, guys? Oh, Welcome. Great. Uh, is this Mick and his long-suffering partner, Vanessa? <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Mick, where did this start for you? Because as kids, we all loved the, the movie. Yeah. But where, when did you click I think over? For me, like um, I was born in 1977, the first uh, the year of the, um, Star Wars was, was first released, and um, so I missed out on the first two. So my first episode was Return of the Jedi, and after watching the movie, I came out of the cinema and just, wow, what's this? What's this like universe? And I started buying all the Ewoks and like toys and um, yeah, and, and then as I got older, I sort of like, you know, lost interest in Star Wars. Mm. And then when I had money again, like I, uh, <laughs> I started working and all of a sudden um, the interest came back. Go. And yeah, last 20 years I've been like full-time collector. Could we talk about the outfit? Because you've customised, this is customised. Yeah, so right. what started as a bit of a joke, um, I was going to America mm. and I was going to one of the Star Wars conventions, of course, and um, I was going to wear an Australian cape on the back of a Stormtrooper costume. Mm. And one of my mates said, oh, why don't you just get an Aussie Vader and like a painting with like with beer can belt and um, <laughs> <laughs> did you do a lightsaber? <laughs> and, oh, I didn't uh, notice that. It is yeah. true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a true too. Um, Vanessa. It's oh, do we have some questions for you? <laughs> I'm Vanessa, sure you Vanessa, do. Vanessa, <laughs> Vanessa. So you go out on your first date, having fun, a slice of pizza, glass of red wine. He says, come back to my place for a nightcap. You walk into the house and it's this weird, weird place with Star Wars toys everywhere. Have I got it right? Along that line, yeah. But yeah. Um, he look. He I went out with him knowing that this was his costume, and he was a massive Star Wars fan. Um, I guess as things got more serious, you know, he was um, like, you know, you're gonna have to come and see the house. I've got lots of things, and um, and you were like, woohoo! And I was like, <laughs> okay. And he did tell me that, you know, he had loaded a few things up onto YouTube, and I went and had a look, and I was like, this is interesting. But yeah. you know, he is very passionate about what he does and that's one of the things that I love about him the most mm. so we need to talk about <laughs> we need to talk about this where where do you keep all this stuff yeah so I've got a um, we live in a um, two-story five-bedroom house okay right and I'm glad you two, didn't say an apartment just the two of you at the moment yeah well, there's one on the way so yeah, one yes on the way. <laughs> And um, yeah, so pretty much every room is um, full of Star Wars. And um, yeah, so it'll be interesting um, once little Princess Leia, maybe Leia. <laughs> I was going to ask, is it, I was going to ask, it pre-named? It, it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, to give me like, um, I wanted um, Bob or Django Battles the Girl, so I had no choice. <laughs> and Vanessa, how are you feeling about the name of the baby being Leia? Uh, we, we've, um, we've had some serious debates over it, so we'll, we'll, um, we'll see what, what it looks you, like when she comes do you, out. Do you share the love of this? Of all this stuff. I do like the movie. Like I, I do love the movie. Sorry, <laughs> more than one. Um, I don't think I've got the passion for it that he does. But um, nobody no, I does. Do. <laughs> nobody does. Um, but I do share it. And I do go along with him to you know his conventions that he goes over to in America, and you know the you know the, all the when the movies come out, you know help him with that and all that sort of stuff. So yeah. Great. Um, so I guess this isn't a cheap. Uh, obsession that you have. No. Are these some of the more expensive yeah, so items here? I'd, I'd here a, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just say that. Yeah. <laughs> so, a bit of show and tell. Um, I brought this little guy. It's yeah. called a vinyl cave Jawa. Uh, just just leave it on the I'll table. Maybe. table. Yeah. He's so, tiny. Yeah, so basically, this little guy, yeah. most of us kids grew up with him, and yeah. he's got a plastic cape instead of a cloth cape. Right. Now, the plastic cape version, that's worth about two or three thousand dollars. And this guy here, if you, if you have him on the original card, that's about ten thousand dollars. Oh. So these toys that we grew up with as, as kids are now worth big money because not many people kept them in the original um, on the card. Yeah, because at right. Christmas Day you're going to rip into that's that right, as quick correct. as. This one actually came from a collection where someone had it put aside for Christmas, yeah. forgot about it, and then 20 years later opened the cupboard. And <laughs> Can I ask Happy a question? Because sure. what's going to happen? Princess Leia <laughs> is going to be is going to grow up. Yeah. At some point she'll be three or four, and she'll go. 
I want to play with that toy, yeah, Daddy. That's my greatest fear at the moment. <laughs> that's, that's, your, that's your greatest fear. <laughs> I try and keep them in acrylic cases so they can't be tampered with, like opened or anything like that. But um, yeah, I've got so many items. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Do you know what? No, no. She, she or he's going to be born. And do you know what? Is not going to be the slightest hate bit it. interested in Star Wars. Someone. You do know that, don't you? No, I, th I think that. <laughs> <laughs> you keep telling yourself that, Mick. You keep telling yourself that. The force is strong already. The force is strong in that one. In a second, we're going to ask you what your copper mates think of it. <laughs> but I'm really interested in what Vanessa's girlfriends think of it. Sorry, what your was girlfriends that? think of this. Um, they were definitely like. Wow, <laughs> you know, as they as they saw things, they were like, "Wow, how do you live there? What do you do?" And and as the you know, obviously, we've announced that I'm pregnant, and I think the biggest question that we obviously get is, "Where is she, where is she going to go? Where, where is she going to sleep? Where is she going <laughs> to sleep? Does she have a room? Um, you know, <laughs> what's happening with all that?" I think they're the biggest questions that I get all the time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, can we talk about Carrie Fisher? Yeah. It's so sad, and, but you actually got to meet her, right? And the, yeah. in this newest movie coming out, we we've seen the trailer. We she's in it, of course. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I was lucky to meet her twice. I met her in America, like uh, in the US before. Um, oh, there you are. Yeah, that was yeah. before uh, she actually had the role um, for um, episode seven. Yeah. And that was Mark Hamill as well. He didn't even, both of them didn't know that they were um, going to be appearing in the movies again. And wow. then um, she actually came over here a couple of years ago as well for um, uh, one of the Supernova conventions and I got to meet her um, again. So, yeah. Okay. Um, you, you're mate, you're, you're a police mates, officer. Yeah. <laughs> the boys down the station, the boys and girls down the station, yeah. what do they say? They're all watching now, hi guys. Oh, yeah. Hi guys. <laughs> we just cleared Kylie's parking ticket, that'd be great. But uh, <laughs> what do they say? Uh, it's funny because um, a lot of them didn't know what I do. So, like, when they first realised that I'm this big Star Wars, like, nerd, like, they, they can't believe it. But on the on the flip side, all my Star Wars friends, they freak out when they find out I'm a police officer. Yeah. <laughs> right. Actually, I'm looking at what's underneath here, uh, here and here. You're not in Highway Patrol, are you? No, no. Because yeah, it looks like it's ripped off a Highway Patrol uh, stuff. Don't no. do that with the lights over. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm Lovely to see you. Point Lovely to see Thank you. Thank uh, you. Good luck with, with you. Princess Light. Good luck with you. <laughs> actually, can, actually, a police officer can actually say that. That's right. Um, <laughs> for more information on how to connect with other fans, links to Star Walking Fan Club. Uh, just head over to our website. Yeah, and if you want to get your fix from a galaxy far, far away, tune in for Star Wars Sundays right here.